Good morning, folks. Yesterday, shortly after the morning news posted, an M3.9 solar flare erupted from the southern incoming active region, 2449. You may have caught the Twitter updates or our weatherman-style breakdown of the flare posted to YouTube last night. Our estimate is for CME to impact Earth near the end of November 11th or at the start of November 12th. Let's take a look at the coronagraph images and find a partial halo eruption. We see material mostly shooting to the bottom left, but there is wide ejecta extending north of the solar equator and right of the 6 o'clock position. When this happens, you pretend to connect the plasma cloud lines across the central blocking disk to see if something is coming our way. Well, if it misses, it'll be close. The best guess is that Earth will take a glancing blow from this event. NASA's endless spirals updated first. They show impact a bit later than I expect, between early to late on November 12th. NOAA more definitively shows impact will occur, and they predict right in the middle of last night's impact prediction window. So, this morning I find myself in agreement with NOAA's analysis, with the caveat that my expected impact window actually begins a bit earlier on the 11th. Now we come to spaceweathernews.com to find yesterday's flare, plainly standing out. While I still wouldn't give this sunspot delta class magnetism, the blue and red are somewhat close in the trailing portions of the group, and it's tilted longitudinally as opposed to the normal side to side spread. The flare cut through the colliding magnetism. The solar wind followed yesterday's phi angle shift with speedy particles from a coronal hole stream. Earth is currently in and out of geomagnetic storm conditions. Yesterday's top earthquake was a 6.2 in Alaska, where four shocks foretold the shake yesterday. Our top articles today include Venus's polar vortex over time. Description accompanies the image at the link along with one to a release on Pluto. New horizons with tons of new science data to offer. Lots to get lost with there today. We've got Tropical Storm Kate blooming in the Atlantic. The islands need to prepare quickly as this is cutting hard and will totally miss making U.S. landfall at the East Coast. Today folks, if you haven't done so before, make a point to check out one of our websites. Tons of free stuff and members material at suspiciousobservers.org, an easy to use and free space weather news website built for people like us, a free website that plainly explains a complex disaster that is slowly unfolding here on Earth, and last but not least, QuakeWatch.net, still very much under construction. We're going to roll through pressure conditions and radar forecast for our top viewer locations, followed by current conditions and shots of our star to close. It's 6.05 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.